Hello there, Gemini. Welcome. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading for the month of August 2023. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Feel free to leave a positive comment down below. Don't forget I am available for personal readings. Um, and you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. All of my information and links are in the description box under the video. So this is going to be, again, a general love reading for the sign of Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Please keep an open mind. Remember, not all of the messages are going to be for every single person who watches. So let's pull an overall energy message first and see what you need to know most about your love and relationships at this time. You've got ooh, the siren, a temptation leads you astray. You could be dealing with a Pisces here. Um, uh, something is trying to distract you. Um, some of you could be involved in a third party situation. Somebody is being led astray here. All right, tempted. What else is going on? Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cusp. Okay, off the bottom, you have the king of pentacles. Oh, we'll take that too. We've got the... Um, Sorry, it's, it's, what is this? This is the Hermit, Six of Wands, Five of Cups, Page of Swords. Hmm. Okay. I feel like after someone has done a lot of soul searching, um, they may may have been spying on you to see if you're still single because they miss you and they're ready for commitment now. I feel like this person was distracted by another person um, and here they come offering their coin ready to commit after doing a lot of soul searching and now they're finally recognizing the connection that they had and they miss you. They regret, you know, spilling all of your cups here. Um, they created some sort of a mess and it's all of this woulda, coulda, shoulda, you know, and they're hoping that they can come back and make things right with you. Um, I feel like there could be some quick in and out text messages here, um, emails, um, they might be trying to see if you're still single, seeing if you're available. Um, they might be bored and looking for some attention or a distraction from their ordinary life. Things just aren't the same now that you're not there. They miss you and they, they feel really bad for the way things were. And I feel like they, they're coming back and wanting to change things and now... They're coming in with their golden coin. Something, um, again, you could be dealing with a Virgo here, a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All of the elements are here. You've got air, your element. Maybe you're doing some research, trying to figure out why this person is coming back. Their message might catch you off guard. You might already be in another relationship. It always seems like when you're in a relationship, they, the people from your past show up. You're like, too late. I'm already with somebody else. Where were you before? Um, let's get another deck. We're going to clarify your majors here. Why is the siren here for Gemini? Temptation leads you astray. Hmm. They better not be in a third party. Clarify the siren. 
Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there's, you know, an, a solid new beginning here. It's the first Ace of the Ten. Maybe you're tempted by this offer coming in. This dude's holding his coin up. This is an offer, some sort of investment or a gift, and you're tempted to take this offer. But are you willing to put the past behind you, Gemini? It's more earth. It's solid. It's real. It's tangible. You can see, touch, and feel it. It's in the 3D and the earthly realm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Why is this hermit here? The soul searching. The emperor. This is divine masculine energy. I feel like this person is showing up as a divine masculine. They got their shit together. They, they are in control. This person is very, very successful. This person has is financially stable and secure. He is offering security and stability in this relationship. And I feel like... This, this past Aquarius full moon that we just had a few days ago is really affecting this emperor. And now he wants your attention. He wants to make things right. I feel like this person is someone that you might have established a connection with in the past. This could be Aries, Taurus, um, Capricorn energy, but this is someone who's seen a lot of battles. They've been through the dark night of the soul. They've, you know, got their act together. This person may own their own business or may be like a vice president or a CEO of their um, company. Someone's come into their power here. And you are, they're very attracted to you. I think they see you as the siren, this gorgeous temptress. They're doing some research, checking you out. If this is a more of a work situation for those of you who are completely single and not in a relationship, not even thinking about dating, I feel like a lot of you are being um, noticed by your boss and you're going to be rewarded at work. Clarify the emperor with the hermit. Ten of swords, yeah. Somebody has been through a lot of grief. This person may have put you through a lot of grief and they realize what they put you through and how badly they treated you and took you for granted and just caused you a lot of stress and I feel like this person's showing up when you least expect it I feel like you're you've been over this person for a long time it's like you don't even like think about them here they come with their coin or you may have forgotten you know that your boss may have promised you a raise or a promotion because this can be a promotion here and all of a sudden here they come with the Ace of Pentacles with their offer in hand. It's going to be good. Just to take a peek on the bottom of the clarifying deck, you've got the Ten of Wands. So a lot of endings here. You, it's time to drop the burden. You've been burned. This person may have screwed you over and burned you before and really, really hurt you. And you've given up on, on love, you've given up on it, you've moved on. Maybe, again, maybe you're seeing other people and here they come with a solid offer. Here they come as a divine masculine, as an emperor. Interesting. Take your time, do your homework before you jump in. That's all I got to say. Let's grab some advice and then we're going to grab some love cards for you, Gemini. got redemption. I can't make this shit up. 
Absolution, forgiveness, and penance again. I feel like this is somebody from your past. Coming in now, ready to commit. Coming in, wanting to be a husband, the father. He's a family guy. Hopefully it's not Peter Griffin. <laughs> um, this person is going to make amends for all of the wrong that they've done. They see the error of their ways. And they, they want to they wanna lock you down, hoping that you'll, you'll forgive them. Again, choice is going to be yours. They're going to have to show you that they've changed. It's like you want to see tangible evidence. All right, let's get some... Love messages for you. Love messages for Gemini. All right. Love language. Speaking each other's language nurtures love to grow. Okay. You've got to be on the same page. Okay. Communicate your needs, your desires. Show them and tell them how you expect to be loved and treated. Not everybody is a mind reader. Then you've got promise, all dreams are possible with this love. You could have anything you want with this person. You're everything that they wished for. Caged love, this love is an illusion or a trap. Fly free, there is no love here. I feel like a lot of you got your guard up. Um, you're not sure. Maybe, maybe you don't love them anymore. Hmm. Or somebody was with somebody else that they realized they learned the difference between love and lust. Power, true power is liberating and transforming. And this kind of calls back to the emperor card. Somebody took their power back. Somebody has more power than they realize. There could have been power struggles and ego tripping going on here. Closeness, the bond between you creates a special understanding. Wow. All right, Gemini, that's what I have for you at this time. Thank you so much for watching. Until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.